Here's what we're going to be working on. We're going to make a flip top school desk. And this might sound like something pretty simple, and it is. It's a pretty simple project. But I sat down on the couch for a couple days, and as an engineer, I tend to overthink everything. This entire project is made from nothing more than one sheet of three quarter plywood, four hinges, eight screws, a few finished nails, uh, some glue, and of course you got a little bit of stain and finish on here. And I think you've got a project that you can do with your kids. You can teach them about power tool safety. You can teach them how to make stuff. You can make them feel good about something they've created during this time. And since everybody's homeschooling these days, guess what? You got a real nice spot for them to sit down and do their work. So anyway, follow along and let's see how we did it. I just wanted to talk to you for a minute about why I'm doing this. So as strange as it seems, I'm going to all this work because I saw one of these desks in the Goodwill for $40 and thought, nah, $40 is too much for that. And then about four or five days later, I thought, you know what, maybe $40 isn't too much for that. I went back, of course it's gone. And now here I am going to spend most of my Saturday building the darn thing to save five bucks. All right, so we got everything cut, at least the major cuts. Got to make a couple notches in a couple of these pieces as we go. But I just want to show you one last time how little waste there is in this project. So if we look here, we got everything laid out on the floor, exactly what was cut from the sheet of plywood that we used. So all these over here, no waste. The only waste is the little wedge we cut out between these two pieces right here. Down here, this is waste. This is waste. And over in this piece, this piece right here is waste. Now this piece is, is waste for my purposes because I made this to be waste. This piece, you could make leave this whole piece right here. These two, don't ever make this cut. And that'll make a taller, taller uh, backing to your bottom shelf between the legs. So I needed this piece for, remember I need that for my vice blocks. Now I got a vice here, I never got a block before coronavirus set in. So I'm gonna make that out of these. That's why I purposely cut this piece shorter. All right, so we're gonna start with the assembly next. We're gonna assemble the desktop first, and then we're gonna add the legs and the shelves underneath that. Big trick here is make sure you get everything square as you go along. You know that the length of this 32 and 15 sixteenths. So when you get down here, 32 and 15 sixteenths is what you're aiming for. Get it pretty close there right now. I'll lay this back and then I can just put some, a little run of glue on each one of these. Screw that piece up. You can see inside here, see in there, see now I've got a gap here I can run cables in and out of. Plenty of space back here to attach power strip. And I don't really want to attach this here yet because I need to figure out where the top closes and then where the front piece comes down in here. We're going to ease off this edge here with a roundover bit. So I'm going to make a little mark here just so I know where to stop. I'm going to make another mark back here. You can see there, yeah, I think you can maybe see, 
Got a nice edge on there for the cables to drop over. We're going to do a lot of the easing of the edges on the bottom and you know all these corners and things. We're going to do all this at one time a little bit later. You just want to make sure you do pieces like this before you put them somewhere you can't get to them permanently. Up inside here, we talked about having to cut a notch right here for the leg to come up inside the desk. It's going to fit right here through the slots. So we're going to have to cut a a notch here that sticks out three quarter inch in, and since this is three quarter of an inch thick, then we're gonna to need to cut a notch that's about an inch and a half. So we have four and seven sixteenths. We're gonna come in here four and seven sixteenths, and we're gonna put a little mark right there. Remember I said we don't wanna just assume how thick this plywood is, so we're gonna take this section D here. We know it's the thickness of that leg, so we're gonna line the outside face up with the outside of the base on both the front and the back, I mean, both the left and the right, and we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna make sure there's nothing there that's gonna hold it standing off. We're gonna get that in place, and we're gonna use that to scribe our line for our cut. Our next steps, we need to ease off this, just put some round edges on there to make it nice and comfortable when you're sitting there working. And we need to make those notches in the back inside there and all right so when the desk is finished and it's nice and closed up when you go to open this desk right now you pretty much have to just pinch the plywood right here so to make it a little bit easier to open we're gonna we're gonna take a chamfer bit and we're gonna cut a little notch in the side panel right here on each side so that when you go in there your fingers will be able to grab the bottom of this plywood and just lift it up desk here. You want to make darn sure that that is the size of the gap you leave. A lot of old desks like this, they had a little groove right here where you keep your pencil from rolling out when you had it open. So I'm going to take this half inch round head bit and an edge guide and I'm going to put a groove in there, a pencil groove. Get, keep your damp rag out here to clean up, clean up all your squeeze out. We're gonna finish up the lid. triangles right here that we've actually need to have cards up here. I just wanted to check the fit there. So we're going to move these over in the middle a little bit. There we 
There we go. Now we're gonna, I think it looks pretty good right there at an inch and a quarter. That's where they're all gonna go. You wanna line the hinge up with the joint there. There you go. So you, know, you have two options to open this. If you want to do the open part of it, you have this here. You have, you have your work surface down here, and you'll have a work surface up here. I'll probably put some kind of stop on here. Now, I know this wasn't on your shopping list, but if you're going out and buying stuff, get you a few feet of some, some nice trim. Put it right there at the edge of this. Got your nice pencil stop there. I'm also going to put another piece down here so when you're working on the surface of the desk, you got a little stop here for your book or whatever it is you want to set up here. The desk here, we cut these legs to fit in, or we cut those slots to fit the legs. So we want to make sure they fit before we start putting things together. This one's a little bit snug, but it does fit. center line mark up right there. Off. Oh. No, almost a 30 second. Make sure you get a little extra glue right in that area there. Mm-hmm. 
you've never seen these things before, they're antiques. I'm good to smoke. I'll get these off. All right, I'll let these, this glue dry up overnight. We'll come back tomorrow and we're gonna finish it up. We still gotta put the shelves in between here. Once the shelves are in, we'll be able to assemble the whole thing. Then we'll be able to finish the whole thing. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there at the bottom of the screen. You know, hit the bell if you want. You know, I'd like to have you come back and see what else I'm working on. I'm just gonna shave the front of this off and make it pretty. And then this, we're going to trim this by hand. Don't have pipe clamps. I want to make darn sure. Begin to pull these in. We'll have a good bit of cleanup work to do here. up in there too far you're going to want to get them covered in glue ouch you get your fingers out of the way Hurt to help. Put some weight on there if you need to push it down. Also, want to show you something. 
at the beginning of the video, remember we showed you the full sheet of plywood, then we showed you after it had all the cuts in it, and now I'm gonna show you what's left on the floor. There you go. These are all the scraps, even that little piece there, and this, there's a little piece right here that we cut off the braces we put under the lid. That's it. And there's the sawdust. Taking into account less waste now, exactly 2% waste. Um, we're gonna use bare thing stain and poly. It says two to three coats an hour apart, lightly sand with 320 between the coats.
All right, so now we got all four on there. And you can see here, down each side you have four rows of screws. If you imagine, let's say each screw hole has a, maybe a 16th inch of slop in it, well that's a quarter inch of adjustment over the whole length of the desk. So if you look down here, right here at the edge, I'm going to push it up and down. See how much adjustment that is. So that's why you don't want to tighten those hinges up as you install them. You want to get all of them started, and then you want to make sure that you evenly divide your gap between the top and the bottom. You can do that again with the business cards, or you can just do it by eye. There we go. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think. And um, this is how I spent part of my coronavirus stay home order. Give you a little tour. See, this is, this is the shelf I built back here. It's more of a container, all the cabling. I can wind it up and drop it down in there. You know, whereas if in your design, you may want to just make this piece taller Take this length here plus this length and you can make a taller back shelf here. You can adjust that as you need to. You don't feel constrained to do it the same way I did. You just want to make sure you maximize the usage of your sheet of plywood. There's that extra shelf we dropped in there at the last minute. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you find something like this you can do around the house with your kids. Keep them, keep them interested, keep them moving. Thank you for watching.